everyone, it's Jerry. Welcome back to another video. It's good to be back. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted my last video. I, I always say it's been a while. Uh, I'm so inconsistent with YouTube, uh, but big news. We hit a thousand subscribers, I think three weeks or a month ago. You know, even though I don't post as consistently as I want to, for all of you that watch my content, I'm just super grateful and I look forward to posting more consistently, getting on my own schedule. Uh, I've been pretty busy the past several months and I haven't gone my footing with YouTube just yet. I've been traveling a bit. I went to LA like three times. I went to Boston a few times this year. A bunch of my buddies are still out there so it's good to see them. been really busy at work. This new team that I started in March has been going really well. I've been learning a lot with like front-end development, back-end development. Learned so many new skills. I, I love working with my team. Um, and I've been really busy with doing a side hustle with product videography. I've been working with brands and companies with our products and it's been uh, really fun. And the biggest recent news for me, I moved into my own place, into my own one-bedroom apartment. Um, I was living in my parents' house for two years uh, since graduating. Uh, in the middle of the pandemic. And yeah, if you've been following this channel for a while, I was filming all my YouTube videos in my bedroom. It's finally uh, nice to have my own place. It's still a bit messy, but yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting some new furniture in there. I'm trying to uh, take my time and actually buy things that are meaningful and have some intent behind it. Cause I don't, I don't wanna just get a bunch of stuff and be a hoarder. But yeah, that actually brings us to a topic of this video, uh, this desk setup behind me. So this is like one of the first things I set up once I moved into this new apartment. This is where I do all my gaming, video editing, web browsing. I also like to watch YouTube, Disney Plus or Netflix and eat on this table. I actually have a totally separate desk setup for my work from home, but I'll do that in another video. So getting started with the tabletop, this is from Vivo. This is their 60 by 24 inch tabletop. Uh, it's really wide and holding it up is an Ikea Alex drawer and two Adios legs. I've had these for a while now and not only do they hold up well, but I think the light wood and the white complement each other really well and they look very nice. Powering this whole desk setup is my PC that I've had for around two years, made some upgrades here and there. But the case is from NZXT, it's a white mid-tower case with a glass frame. Looks really nice, you can see it inside. The CPU is a Ryzen 7 3700X with the Wraith Prism uh, stealth cooler, I think. The GPU is an NVIDIA G4 1660Ti. My PC has got four sticks of 8GB RAM totaling 32. And for storage, I've got 256GB of SSD connected via NVMe. Super fast. And then I also have a terabyte of hard drive connected via SATA cables for video files and of course games. Not looking to upgrade uh, too soon. This PC is held up really well, really good for video editing and gaming. I actually do VR gaming on this PC and it works amazing. I'll be on my Quest 2 and I'll play wirelessly Half-Life Alex or Boneworks. Not the best specs you've seen out there, but it works for me. The monitor, this is the Scepter 35 inch ultra wide monitor. It's 1440p. Uh, by 3440 and yeah works really well. I love it especially for editing videos as I can see the whole timeline and works great for gaming especially open world immersive games. Along with the high resolution it has a 100hz refresh rate which is uh, buttery smooth and it's mounted onto the desk via clamp pole and arm I think from Vivo. The speakers right below the monitor aren't anything too special. They're the Creative Pebble 2.0 uh, speakers. You can get them for like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'm not an expert on uh, speakers. So if you have any recommendations for budget-friendly uh, PC speakers that look nice, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I'm interested. On to more peripherals. My mouse was actually a gift from my brother. Uh, this is the Razer Mamba Elite gaming mouse. Works really well. Has some RGB with it. It goes along with the rest of the setup. My keyboard. This is the Royal Kludge G68 wireless RGB keyboard. This is a 60% uh, keyboard. I love the look and the form factor. Yeah, and this has brown key switches. The reason why I chose brown key switches is because it's a good balance between tactile feedback and noise. And after owning a keyboard with red and blue switches, I think brown is the way to go for me. And if you want to see a more detailed look onto this keyboard, I actually did a video on it 
uh, several months ago that I'll link somewhere up here and in the description. One of the last pieces of tech that I have on my desk is the Agata Wave 3. This microphone has been amazing. I'm not a streamer, uh, not yet at least, but I just love the quality of this microphone. I'll record voiceovers with this. I'll use this for game chat or video calls. Aside from the way it looks, which I find the design looks really nice on my desk, I got this specifically for their Wavelink software, which is a very intuitive application that runs all the audio on my PC. I can manage everything. It works really well, especially when gaming with friends. I can tune the audio of the game, game chat, music, all separately using a Wavelink. It's great, and I'm gonna have it for a while. Moving on to lighting. I think lighting is really important, especially with the aesthetics of a desk setup and also setting the mood. On top of my monitor is the ProSmart monitor light bar. It has these touch sensitive areas where I can set the brightness and the color temperature. And this has been really great just to light up the desk. It looks really nice. When I have it off, the desk looks kind of uh, bland, but when I have it on, it just looks a lot nicer. And this is especially nice when I'm at my desk at night so I can see the keyboard. And also I will do some writing or journaling at night. So in the back next to my PC is another light that I got from Amazon. And not only can you adjust the color temperature and brightness with this, this also has RGB colors. But I usually have this set to like a soft white and have it on almost all the time. Okay, last but not least is the decorations. Up here, uh, this is the baby or toddler Groot uh, fungo pop. This is a 10 inch life-size fungo pop. This is really great I wanted to add some uh, greenery as you'll see with the upcoming decorations But yeah, it just adds a bit of pop to the desk setup and Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my uh, favorite Marvel movies. But yeah, I thought this is really cute and the fact that it's life-size It adds that bit of like life and pop to it. And next to it. I just got a small Ikea plant um, and I think they go really well together and they do a great job of covering my Wi-Fi modem slash router. I have more fake plants under my monitor. I got these from Amazon like a while back and these kind of remind me if you guys ever played the game No Man's Sky. That has a lot of like procedurally generated planets and fauna. But yeah, I think like the the blue especially and red, they just add that bit of like sci-fi into the desk setup, which is what I'm kind of going for. I'm still playing around with the theme of the desk setup and I think you can do that a lot with uh, not only the wallpaper and color, but the decorations that you put. And so we've also got two LEGO Star Wars ships. Uh, these two are my favorite ships and they go really well through with the setup. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hints of red and green already on the desk setup, but these two just add to it. I'm a collector of LEGO Star Wars ships, that's like one thing I geek out on. This is the uh, Resistance A-Wing. I prefer the Rebel ships, but I just love uh, this build specifically, and the green looks really nice. And I've also got Obi-Wan's Starfighter from Episode 2. This is one of the newest sets that came out this year. Two of my favorite ships in the Star Wars universe and they go really nicely on the tabletop of my desk. Uh, I actually still have to unbox a bunch of my other LEGO Star Wars ships as part of the move. But yeah, I got those two out. Finally, uh, to the right under my monitor, I've got these wooden coasters I got from Home Goods. Damn, like Home Goods, that's like my <laughs> my now favorite place to go to uh, ever since having my own place. I think these coasters add like, like a cozy, warm vibe to the desk setup. They're a different wood material, and I think this works and complements really nicely with the lighter wood tabletop. As I mentioned before, I will eat and drink at this tabletop while watching some YouTube videos and shows. So this, these are really nice to have to protect the tabletop. So that about wraps up this aesthetic corner desk setup tour for video editing and gaming. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I plan to make more videos as I move things around and upgrade more gear. So again, if you enjoyed watching and you want to stick around, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join me on my journey uh, as a content creator and a full-time software engineer. Uh, I'm Jerry and I'll see you in the next one.